Hello everybody, welcome back to some vlogs. I'm still not 100% sure how I'm going to handle the vlogs, as in if it's gonna be like a weekly vlog or if there's going to be a couple a week and broken down into different days, like one or two days in vlog. I don't know, we're gonna play it by ear, see what works out best. So I did film over my birthday, because if y'all didn't know my birthday was this past Saturday. <laughs> it was like seriously one of the best birthdays ever if not the best because it did kind of last all weekend saturday keith made me breakfast in bed and then we laid out by the pool for a little bit i went and got my tattoo i got my first tattoo didn't hurt nearly as bad as i thought it was going to i psyched myself up so bad i thought it was going to be like the worst pain ever granted i got it in one of the lesser painful locations still it was not nearly as bad as what i was expecting so now like i can't wait to get more tattoos now that i know because that was part of the reason that i like waited so long to get it is because i was so scared of the pain but now that i know what to expect and now that i know that it's not like the worst pain that i've ever felt in my entire life <laughs> I'm not like scared to get more. So I'm gonna show y'all. I got it on this shoulder back here. Let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. That's a little bit better. Oh, 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 there. Oh, winner, 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 chicken dinner. There you go. That's it. I seriously love it so much, y'all. Like, I can't even begin to explain. So, yes, we did that. And then we went to the Def Leppard and, ooh, totally, there we go. And then we went to the Def Leppard and Journey concert. Oh my gosh. They were amazing. Both, like, Def, Def Leppard just completely blew my mind. Journey, the guy that they got to replace Steve Perry, at, <laughs> sounds so much like Steve Perry. It was insane so and then we went out afterward with some a bunch of my friends it was so amazing and for all of you who commented on my instagram photo wishing me happy birthday and sent me messages thank you so much like i really really appreciate it i did film a little bit here and there but like we didn't film in the tattoo parlor i got some like concert footage and whatnot but it's just like none of it's really cohesive so i don't think i'm going to do anything with all of that footage i did post kind of throughout the day on saturday on instagram it's just like i said it's just not very co cohesive doesn't flow together it's super random but Thank you to everybody who wished me happy birthday. I seriously, I appreciate it so much. I love you all. You guys are absolutely amazing. Um, right now I'm waiting for Keith to get home because we have to redo, like clean out my AC because it's not working. My air or my car is only blowing out hot air right now. And it's been like pushing 90 degrees every day and humid. So I'm not about that like i know that's very much a first world problem and i'm very like thankful and blessed that i even have like a working running car to begin with but it is kind of painful <laughs> when the ac doesn't work especially because my car is black too so when it's just sitting there in the sun it sits there and gets heated up um but yeah so i'm waiting for him real quick to get home he should be here any minute now and then I'm going to walk y'all through, I have to plan out my week and like groceries, um, plan out grocery lists and everything. But I remember back in like January when I kind of posted, I think it was in my goals video, I don't know, but I talked about the passion planner and a bunch of you had commented saying that you would love to see me like how I fill it out and use it to help kind of kick off becoming more frequent in videos and vlogs and whatnot. I thought that it would be very fitting to do like a plane with me vlog. So I hope y'all enjoy this. I have never done one of these before. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. I have been using this pretty frequently throughout the year though. So I do already kind of know, and I've been using it more the past few weeks, so I do kind of already know like how I'm gonna fill it out and whatnot. But yeah, so I'll, I'll walk y'all through my planner and hopefully it'll give you some ideas for if you guys like plan a lot or do bullet journals or anything like that. It'll kind of give y'all some ideas because I am all about like, I love looking and seeing how other people fill out and organize their planners because I'm just an organizational freak. So that type of stuff gets me really excited. And I'm like actually really excited, ex excited to share it with y'all. I'm gonna go downstairs and we're gonna 
fix my AC real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so. <laughs> this is the earth. This is my passion planner. I've got the cover decorated. I actually have the eco-friendly one where the planner itself is all paper and then it's just a cover. You can get the cover to go with it so that way I can recycle the whole planner and reuse the cover when it comes to next year. And you can get like different colors in the cover. And this is what I decorated the cover with, just these metallic Sharpie markers. I got them from Hobby Lobby, but I'm sure you can get them on Amazon, so I will link those down below. I opted for the dated version. You can also get an undated version. So I have the dated one with my week starting on Sunday. Again, you can also get one with your week starting on Monday. So it is very like personalizable depending on what's gonna work best for you. I typically try to do most of my planning on Sundays. So that's why I decided to get one that started with Sunday. If y'all aren't fami familiar with a passion planner, in the beginning, it's got your little roadmap thing, basically your goals and this is how I like to break down goals and how I've always liked to break down goals. You have, you know, like very long-term, kind of long-term, shorter term, and then just within, or I guess it would go this way instead, one year and then three months. So you have an overall roadmap is what they call it. And then you can break it down even to the month. So within the month, it'll say this month's focus and goals and whatnot. And then it also breaks it down even to the week and the day so that's why i really like this one it's really great for keeping on track with your goals and whatnot and then in the back it also has some blank pages right here i have my bills tracker that i went ahead and kind of filled in it also comes with squared pages like square blank pages at the back and this is my book list that I just completed at the end of every month it also has monthly reflections so it's just a really great overall planner in terms of goals and kind of just growing as a person I really typically only use the blue and the green colors it's just very peaceful colors to me but they came in this marker pack it did come with all three of them. I got these off of Amazon, so again, I will link these down below as well. Instead of a pen, I find that I actually like to write with this black paper flare, paper, no, paper mate flare marker, and that just came in this packet, which again, Amazon will be linked down below. To mark my blank pages in the back so that I can just like easily get to them, I got these little highlighter page marker things. I don't know, again, Amazon, it'll be linked down below. Okay, so this was last week and we're going to flip over here to a brand new week. I've already got in here. Payday is on Friday. It's up there. The important, <laughs> the important things. I don't really know what my week's focus is going to be yet, but I do have my work schedule for the week, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the times that I work first, and then I'll fill in with everything else afterward. that I have all of my work stuff fill it in. I know that Friday night we've got, or I've got like a joint birthday party with one of my friends, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Over here, this little section right here is a good things that happened section. And what I've found that I like to do best instead of just like doing random things, I'll actually put each day of the week and then I'll put something that something good that happened on each day. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I am going to go in and fill out the to-do list. Um, there's a personal to-do list or to-do list and then there's a little errand section down here. I'm also gonna fill in uh, the times that I plan on working out and 
filming. So yeah, now that I have all of my work stuff filled in, I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in everything else that I know of that is going to kind of work around my work schedule. I'm pretty much done for now. I've got my tasks up here. I like to break it down over the, the day. Like if I know specifically that some stuff needs to be done on these days, I'm gonna put it up here. For now, like I know I'm gonna have to take the recycling sometime this week, but I just don't know when I'm going to be able to do it yet. But right now we can still go a few more days at least, maybe even until next week, but I'm just gonna put it there so that way I at least don't forget. Uh, fitness planner. I have a smaller version of this that I was planning on using to do that with like all my fitness like schedules and Workouts and whatnot. So I want to go ahead and get that set up at some point in time this week I also knew I wanted to create a month-long uh, Filming schedule so having a schedule for the rest of June sorted out I already went ahead and filled in a couple of the good things that have happened um, so far this week I've got this week's focus going on, and I'm still kind of playing around with different handwriting and whatnot. I don't have a good handwriting by any means. I just like trying to, at least trying to make it look kind of pretty and okay to look at. As you can see, Thursday, since I don't actually have to go into work, I am dedicating that to YouTube. So right now I've got five hours blocked off where I'm going to be filming some new videos and then trying to edit and get those uploaded and scheduled to go live uh, within those five hours. If I have to go later than I can because I don't really have anything else going on that day, but Keith does get out of work at four and doesn't have to go to the gym or anything. So I would like to be able to get off the computer and just be able to spend time with him that evening, especially since I work until nine Wednesday and we've got stuff going on Friday and I'm working all day Saturday. This is how we are looking so far. If y'all liked this video or wanna see more of it or whatever, then definitely leave a comment down below. I do actually have a passion planner uh, Pinterest board so I will leave a link to that down below if y'all are interested in following me there oh one other thing I did since it takes me a while to get to work I did just put like a little line here so that way I just know not to schedule anything which I know in my head but it still just helps to kind of see like okay this half hour here is not open for any sort of activities because I will be driving so this is the overall setup that has been working for me and I just like the layout of it and how it all looks. This is subject to change, but right now this is what I like. If y'all like this video, like I said, then um, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if there's anything else that you would want to see. Let me know if y'all would be interested in seeing um, how I do end up <laughs> doing my fitness planner since I still have no idea what I'm going to do with that. That is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, work hard, be kind, spread good vibes. I love y'all. Goodbye!